Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the United States of America. Alright, so before we get started, I'd like to correct two mistakes, massive mistakes, I made last episode, or one of them wasn't a massive mistake, but uh, the other one was. Uh, the first one was just a minor thing. Uh, I spelt North Carolina wrong uh, with an A instead of an O. I actually do know how it's spelled, guys. That was just, I don't know, just an accident when I was typing it out. Um, so, yeah, that was my bad. I did fix it. Luckily, it's not a problem, and I learned, I'm glad I did. Uh, I misspelled it because I learned something in it that we can actually make adjustments here with the names and the little icons uh, And it changes even the ships that are currently being built, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, the, they'll it'll be named uh, You know with the correct spelling and then of course we got some a new icon here as well that I put for the torpedo destroyers Essentially what I'm gonna do is anything with torpedoes submarines destroyers perhaps even some torpedo cruisers uh, are going to be using the uh, cross and bones there uh, and I think this is the only one I changed up. All right, so uh, that's the first one. That's kind of obviously a minor thing. The big mistake that I made that really kind of affected this series in a bit uh, is the fact that I've been waiting to change the undisturbed isolation. I mean, good God here, look at this. Cannot replace undisturbed isolation. I'm, I'm an idiot, guys. I don't play America very often, which are the only ones that I know of that have undisturbed isolation. I haven't played America since that last campaign, guys, uh, which was, as I said in the beginning of the series, uh, summer of 2016? Yeah, summer of 2016. That was the last time uh, I've played as the United States. I don't play as them very often because, I mean, let's be honest, they're super easy. They're the uh, most powerful country in the game. So I, that's why I don't typically play them. And that's why I did not know. Uh, I had completely forgot about that. I, I think it was in place last time I played too. Uh, so there's not really any excuse for it other than, you know, me forgetting after that period of time. Uh, so yeah, we cannot change it until we get more than 50% war support or until we get uh, uh, in war. However, one thing I learned, a bunch of you guys have been uh, helping me out with the, when it comes to what's gonna happen with the Civil War. A lot of people have been posting in the comments, uh, had people uh, you know, adding me on Twitter, uh, even had somebody post something on Facebook toward, uh, to me about the uh, Civil War information and stuff, uh, and learned a couple interesting things. Um, first of all, uh, the guarantee the American dream. It is, you know, I was only going for that to get the war support so that we can change from isolation, which of course basically means since we can't do that, it was a waste of time, right? Well, apparently it's not a waste of time because getting the this national focus here, the guarantee the American dream, is actually what stops the neutral, uh, the neutral side from breaking off up here in the north. I want to say they take control of all this region up here. Uh, so uh, if you have the Civil War happen, you know, and the CSA breaks free in the south, then uh, that does result in uh, the, the north breaking free as like a neutral country that can actually do diplomacy with both sides. So in fact, they could join either side in the, the conflict. They're supposed to be a neutral side, uh, but from my understanding, they can uh, join either side. Uh, so they could end up, even end up being a potential enemy. Uh, so us doing that, uh, as long as we get it before the Civil War fires, which we'll get it in 16 more days, uh, we'll stop the neutral act uh, the neutral side from breaking off the neutral block. I think it's what it's called. Uh, so the other thing I learned is the fact that I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, the, this civil war is a lot different than the other civil wars uh, because it's not a random thing. Uh, I was thinking why well, the German one isn't either. Neither is the Spanish. But I was thinking that had OOB, which is what's called in the files, uh, and then it, it's you know basically sets where the the troops are going to be and who has which divisions it set you know like i said it completely wipes the floor with the way your army looks it deletes all the one the soldiers you have and then gives you new ones uh, and then sets them up so that it's kind of like a fair fight i suppose and it does that in germany and spain uh, it doesn't do it here in the united states uh, instead the csa breaks away in the south and then after that they get they get the oob so they get the the troops but we do not we'll keep the troops we have so now that we know that, we're going to go ahead and start building up, guys. Um, yeah, I think we should go ahead and build up divisions. Now, we could build uh, tanks up, but uh, I don't think... We, we don't really have the production for them. Uh, if you look at our, our equipment right now, um, we've got some motorized. Uh, we have no light tanks, though. And I don't know when the Civil War is going to happen, but I'm going to try and really make it happen this episode, guys. See if we can get to it. Uh, so if that's the case, we'll never get those tanks done in time. So instead, let's just, just build infantry. What are we lacking here? Uh, artillery. Okay, we'll get that fixed here in a minute. Uh, and also support equipment too. All right. Well, we're just gonna build like a ton of uh, divisions. We have the manpower, so might as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and build a ton of these, uh, and then we'll place them. 
I mean, if they're going to break away from the C, if they're going to break away, you know, the CSA here in the South, then we're going to want them. I don't know what states exactly break away, if it's like the historical CSA uh, or what, but let's put them in Arizona. Uh, so that way they, they should be close. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if New Mexico will break away with them. I would assume it would stop at Texas here, but just for safety measures, let's go to Arizona. And I love Arizona too. I used to live in Arizona, if you didn't know. Lived in Arizona for quite a long time. Um, I like it there. It's a beautiful state, if you like deserts, I suppose. Uh, and I think that that is good. Yeah, we're gonna build those. Uh, the other thing we need to do is change up our equipment because obviously we've got some issues here. Uh, well, it seems like we've already got our factories going towards that. Okay. Uh, so the other thing we need to do is military factories, which we're going to prioritize over these for obvious reasons. Uh, I, I wasn't building military factories because I wanted to get rid of the uh, isolation uh, penalty, uh, but it's irrelevant because we're not getting rid of that until the war starts. So we should probably get some military factories, guys. I think it'd be wise. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's build. Uh, we will build in California just for that 100% bonus. And then let's go ahead and build. Uh, we can get another 100% bonus there. Sure. Why not? Uh, we'll go ahead and get a couple here. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Oh yeah, 100% right there, 100% right there. Uh, so there we go, that looks pretty solid. Let's go and tick all these down to the bottom. We'll build them later. Let's focus on military factories. And I think that's good to go. Yeah, so let's go and let it play so that hopefully we can get to the Civil War. Uh, I would really, really like to see it happen. Oh, there it is right there. That's the damn Civil War event, guys. Wow, uh, so we were just talking about it. What are the chances? Uh, protests escalate into violence. Tensions escalated at another protest in the Capitol Day. As another mass protest was called by amongst, by amongst others, the Silver Legion of America, repeating their earlier demands that a number of members of Congress be arrested and turned over to them. The protesters issued an ultimatum of one hour before they would storm the Capitol and remove the people on their list by force. When the ultimatum passed without reaction, small squads of Silver Legionnaires rushed the line of Capitol Police. A bloody me melee developed, which quickly spread to engulf other protesters. With the police so occupied, other groups gained entrance into the buildings. Going from room to room, they managed to find several of their intended victims, but were stopped from, by from leaving by armed police. In the ensuing firefight, several attackers were killed, while two congressmen were injured. An ugly mood has settled over the Capitol, with both sides blaming the other for the escalation. The next few weeks will show whether the incident, now known as the Battle of Capitol Hill, was the end of the protest, or merely the prelude to an even larger conflict. Alright, so fascist elements of the population will be in preparation for an uprising. So the way that that works is essentially, and we got mountain infantry, uh, let's go ahead and get something else. Oh, also, one thing I looked up, guys, because I, I was wondering, and I never knew, is when Civil War states break away, I was wondering if they use your tech tree, and they do. They get the same tech tree you get. So everything we research to fight them, it, they get the same bonus, so it's irrelevant. Uh, so none of this would is going to help us. And, and in fact, it you know it's once again we, we have to deal the same same bonuses. So yeah, it's irrelevant. What do we want to get next? Um, there's no point on like yeah focusing. Are we in? We are not in 1939, but we are pretty close. So we could go ahead and get the next radar if so desired. I think we're about close enough, guys. Where I'm going to go ahead and start working on uh, the text here. So let's go and get concentrated industry. It's close enough. I usually wait till December, but it's fine. But essentially the way that works with the Civil War is you have to have like two things happen uh, for it to to fire. Uh, we got the guarantee American Dream. Excellent. Uh, so what do we want to get next? Let's do... Worker management would completely remove our Great Depression modifier. So that's probably what we should get, guys. Yeah, that would make the most sense for us. Let's get rid of it. That's nasty penalties. Uh, also, we have a decision available. Let's take a look. Oh, the promises of peace. We don't care about that. Uh, but when we took that one national focus, there's two national focuses that affect it. And when we took the one, that set off a timer, I believe. Now, this has not been confirmed by anybody. This is my uh, my belief on how it works. And also, there's a ton of events uh, about the Civil War. Uh, so, industrialist moves arm factory. So, uh, he's going to move the factory from Kansas to Texas. So Texas is going to be a rebel state. Uh, but essentially they, they remove your factories and I don't know about dockyards, but I know like civilian and military factories are going to get moved. Uh, so yeah, these are, it's actually a, a major issue here is the fact that we've built so much here in Texas too. That's really going to help the rebels. Yeah, if I had known that, yeah, we built specifically our oil system all throughout here. So that's, that's going to cause problems, man. Uh, so state interferes with tax collection. 
Government in Virginia sent state uh, police to shut down all tax collection. Okay, so essentially this is gonna hurt us. That's what we need to know. Hurts us uh, when it comes to civilian factories. And the Zog is submitted to Italy. So Albania has been annexed. Yugoslavia, the, Yugoslavia is now claiming Bulgaria and the Anglo-German alliance. So the British and German governments have announced a pact of mutual military assistance, as well as indicating their intention to respect the other spheres of influence. Not all may be surprised to see this development after the German Empire's increasingly pro-British rhetoric in recent months, but the terminology of the treaty has taken many experts aback and even led some to issue warnings for what this could mean for Europe. All right, so what are they now working on? They're now attempting to con consolidate the British Isles. I think that's going to result in them attacking Ireland. Uh, Germany is doing the bulwark against the Bolshevism. France is, yeah, nothing interesting. Far East fortification here, air innovations there. Yeah, let's, let's see if there's anything interesting going on. Looks like that's a no. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing we need to be concerned about. Oh, they're nationalizing the oil fields. I think we get an event for that. I saw that in developer diary. Anyways, uh, and they're once again moving our military factories. Damn them. All right, so Mississippi. So that means, I mean, we're not surprised at all <laughs> that Texas and Mississippi are going over there. I figured Texas was going to, but I wasn't entirely sure. But yeah, we're probably gonna see all these states here go. I don't know, if I had to guess, Maybe Oklahoma might go, I don't know. Uh, but if it did, it'd probably be like, yeah, it's gonna be right across here. Uh, soldiers desert, so we lose manpower. All right, well, that's a shame. So yeah, lots of events tied to this. Uh, but what I keep trying to talk about is, is what, what basically happens if you pick one of those national focuses, it starts a timer, uh, and then uh, the, the Civil War event can fire any amount of time after that timer. Um, and then uh, if you take the other one, the other national focus, then it starts it immediately. You get that one event. Also, when we got that first event and I chose not to do that thing, I believe that would have started uh, the, you know, the, the Civil War build up as well, you know, with all these events. Now, once again, nobody told me that one. I'm just speculating on that. That's how it works. Uh, so we did finish up building something. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this dockyard assigned. Uh, we want to put it into... I really want to get that cruiser finished. It looks like we finished the other cruiser we are building. Okay. So, uh, should have those building up. Yep, and we also have two of these guys finished up here. Uh, so let's go and pull them out. That's a light cruiser and a destroyer. Let's place these, let's just place them over here for right now. Once again, doesn't matter. I'm not really too worried about like our fleets and stuff until after the Civil War. I want to get that dealt with first uh, for obvious reasons. Do we want to go and get the aircraft designer? You know what? If we're gonna have the Civil War popping up, I think it'd be good to get like bonuses that our enemies won't be getting. So military staff. I typically wait till I get all these. But yeah, obviously uh, we need some bonuses that are gonna help us out in the war. Uh, so I think we actually have better bonuses here. Yeah, with uh, General Clark. He's gonna give us a division attack plus 10% and division def defense, which I think over here we're only getting the attack. So yeah, we're gonna get that one. Not seeing Anything else better when it comes to land war right now? No. All right, so let's go and get that. Let's get Clark. Get a nice little bonus there. Um, we could have also have changed... There's something else I, I was thinking I could have... Oh, yes, that's right. We could have left the naval treaty. Yeah, maybe we should have done that. Uh, so industrial just moved their civilian factory now. Oh, they moved out of Arizona. That was What is that? Arizona's only civilian factory and it left? That's messed up. How are we doing on the military factories? All right, we're still building. Uh, we currently have 18 military factories uh, right now. I don't know how many will get built before the Civil War starts. I don't know how long it takes to start, honestly. Seems like it's gonna kick off any moment with how many events we're getting here. We did finish up that cruiser, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and put factories towards this cruiser then. Uh, let's do more attack cruisers. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be wise. In fact, yeah, you know what, this looks good. Let's just let it roll. Are these guys done training yet? They are not. How about our ships? Are our ships done training? Oh yes, you know what? I have not paid attention to at all. The planes. Uh, looks like none of them are really training when they shouldn't be, except for these guys. Uh, they're, or they're uh, not training. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. I talked shit. But yeah, there are a couple planes that shouldn't be training right now. So what we're doing with these is, well, we can leave the naval bomber split. Uh, but once I get them trained, I'm gonna combine them again uh, so that we have 200 air wings. Uh, so let's gonna merge those. And the rest of these should, yeah, still be training. Uh, we can go and take some more planes out of here. Uh, in fact, let's go and move them over here since we're gonna need them for the Civil War. And 
do we have anything? We got some fighters we could train, I suppose. I don't want to do it unless it's at least 100, honestly, guys. So let's go ahead and have them do pilot exercising. All right, excellent. Uh, industry once move once again moves um, from Puerto Rico. Oh, that that's fucked up. Puerto Rico ain't doesn't have much. Why are they taking it from like? Oh, I'm not trying to click on that. Oh, why are they taking them from? Oh, I'm in the naval mode. That's why I'm clicking on it. Uh, they're taking them from all the places that don't really have many factories. Like this one, they had one factory. Arizona had one factory, and that's where they take them from. That's messed up, man. Uh, so small caliber semi armor piercing shells. I haven't got those. I don't remember what they did. I guess I could have looked right there, but it is a light attack and light, light piercing. All right. So once again, let's, uh, we can't get holes yet. Let's get 1939 techs. Uh, let's do the infantry deck. All right. Once again, none of that stuff is going to help with the, uh, the civil war because of the fact that they get everything that we have. Uh, so we have bypassed the fair labor standard since all that did was what this one does. Uh, so it just reduced the uh, penalty that we got for that, uh, for the Great Depression modifier. So now we can go straight to federal housing, which I said I wasn't going to get. You do have to be democratic, so we might want to get that now. That adds five building slots, all in states that, oh, wait a minute, take that back. One of those will go to the, the CSA. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do five more. Yeah, just because you have to be democratic to do this one. I know it's not a huge bonus. This is probably not the most efficient, uh, honestly. But I'm going to go for it anyway, because I don't care. I would rather go for it now than not get to go for it. The armory has been raided. We lost a thousand units of infantry equipment. Damn, that's a bummer because we don't have a lot of infantry equipment. Yeah, that's a shame. Um, we need a lot of artillery, guys, to supply those troops. So um, let me just make sure our equipment is good. Yeah, we're trading for some stuff we don't need to. So let's go ahead and reduce that. And then we should also take a look at our current situation with the equipment. I think we should probably put, well... Yeah, we definitely need to put a little bit more into the infantry equipment as well as the artillery. Not really much to pull from, though. I think we're going to have to wait. Yeah, we are going to have to wait, guys, until we get uh, get some of the, the, the military factories done that we're building. Yes, yeah, so we lost another civilian factory, guys. Losing them in droves. All right, let's go ahead and put these guys over here. I will arrange an army uh, once the Civil War starts. Uh, maybe we should move some troops, though, uh, to get them kind of in preparation. I mean, these guys are pretty solid. I would imagine that we're going to keep Virginia. It's probably going to be North Carolina is where it breaks. But let's keep it in Washington. We should probably send more troops over there, though. Um, oh, well, actually, never mind. Uh, they don't have that many troops over here. Uh, let's move these guys over to Arizona, though we might stretch the supply a bit with 16 divisions. Not entirely sure. We're, it looks like we're actually already... Oh, no, we're not. Those were training troops. Yeah, let's go to Arizona. Let's go visit Phoenix. I used to live in Phoenix, and uh, as well as Glendale. Uh, transmission from Great Britain. They did go to war Ireland, as we expected. Mexican oil nationalized. Hernan Laborde has been stirring up populist nonsense aimed against our economic interest in Mexico. Now the Partido Comunista Mexicano has passed legislation to nationalize the assets of Royal Dutch Shell, Standard Oil of California, and many other international oil forms. Firms, excuse me. Although their constitution allows this action, international justice demands compensation for the losses suffered by the firms. The oil barons are demanding we act. So, we can say this is fair. There's nothing we can do. We lose political power. We can say we will embargo trade with Mexico until they come to their senses. This will ruin trade relations, which means that they're going to have trouble trading for our resources, which I'm sure that they need. And then they'll get an event, the American embargo. Our options are limited and force of arms must be considered. So this will grant us stability, war support, and we'll be able to pop at them. All that kind of good stuff. Well, Mexico is communist, and we're trying to go communist, right? 34% right now. So we almost got that one uh, national focus unlocked. So it's obvious that we should go a certain route. We should let them have it. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, that's communists are fully for the idea of nationalizing the resources, uh, whether it's taking it from from other um, you know other countries that have built them there. Or, uh, you know, taking it from private citizens. You know, communist governments have done that as well. Uh, so, I guess not just communist governments have, have done that. Uh, but industrialization continues to move. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think it's it's fitting for us to allow that. Uh, and and I, I imagine they're kind of going to be a future ally. I don't think it makes any sense to attack them. Uh, one thing that's been asked about a lot is what this little thing is on the corner here. Uh, this is the super heavy battleships. That's, that's uh, how you build them. Uh, it be 95 days to get them. Whether or not we're going to get super, super heavy battleships, guys, I don't know. I didn't really, like, think we would uh, because I don't typically get them because they're not really efficient. But everybody wants them. 
So I imagine we can get them. Uh, obviously, we can't do nothing with them until the naval treaty's done. We don't really have the, the dockyards for, yet for them either. So let's not get it now because we have 1939 text that we're trying to get. Uh, so I want to focus on that. Uh, so let's get all the 1939 text unlocked first, and then maybe we'll go into looking at getting those. Got to get them filled hospitals, guys. I love me some filled hospitals. So Ireland has already been conquered. They're now part of Great Britain. What's Great Britain working on now? Forward operating base. I guess to attack, I would imagine to attack India. Uh, armory raided. Uh, so we lost stability from that one. All right, we got all kinds of penalties here. Uh, and they're seeing to the eastern front. We'll have to see what happens there. Operation Zet in Soviet Union. Um, so yeah, I imagine that they're, they're gonna launch an invasion into India. And German Empire claims Memel, as expected. Now, what about France? What are they working on? Mechanized focus. How about the Italians? They are working on modernized army. Uh, Czechs, Poland, Hungarians, a trade deal with Germany, Royal Guards Division, domestic artillery production. So, let's go ahead and get something else. Once again, let's do 1939 techs. I think that would be the best thing to do. So let's do artillery. That makes the most sense. And it seems that uh, a division, oh, our division's dead, that's right. Uh, so let's, they're already here. Uh, we might be stretching supply here, but I'm not entirely sure uh, how many we can put in, in Arizona, how much supply that desert has for us. It looks like we are, uh, we're, we're doing fine. We got plenty of room there. All right, so I, I deployed them all here, but we should probably move a few of them. Uh, we could also train them up. I suppose we should. Yeah, let's train these guys up. We'll train them right here as well. I think that makes sense. Uh, so let's just train these guys. Uh, and then we're gonna just move some of the, the divisions here. Uh, the cab divisions, hmm, yeah, I want to pull him out. Uh, let's pull him out and, or he could just go into this army here for right now. Uh, we'll get the army situated once we go to war, of course. Uh, and then we're going to take a couple divisions. Uh, looks like we have reserve divisions here as well. All right, let's just go and take all those guys and move them over here for right now. Just to, to get them out of the way. Because I doubt we're going to use those in the conflict. If we can avoid it, we will. Whole army. Oh, did I muck that up? Oh, okay. That's where all these guys were. All right, that makes sense. These guys are all in the uh, the colonies. In our islands. All right, so let's just do two separate armies because this is gonna be our garrison army. I use my cavalry units for the garrison army guys because they are the best at suppression. You can move the big red run back to the east coast, I suppose. Let's do quite a few, probably. Let's do eight over here, I think. Yeah. Looks like we actually had one over there already. <laughs> Let's move another one over there. All right, uh, so yeah, they'll move on over there. We'll have a larger army on that side. 15 divisions over here. That seems that we got another division currently done training. Let's take a look at how we're looking. Uh, let's just probably deploy all these guys. In fact, let's build more. Though we don't have any equipment for them. It's fine. Deploy what we have. Uh, what is it that we're lacking? Oh yeah, we're lacking everything, infantry equipment, all that good stuff. You know, this is this is good. We should probably save some infantry equipment. So this is what we'll use. We'll just have one more guy coming um, and have these guys get into that training army. And that means that we could probably pull a couple more of these guys off and bring them back to the, you know, bring four over there. To the East Coast to protect Washington. I don't know how many divisions we need. I have no idea how many they, they spawn. Nobody told me that. That would have been some use for information to have. Uh, but yeah, nobody told me how many spawn, nothing like that, so I have no idea how long. Everybody said that your, their army is larger than ours, so that's all I know. So I figured it'd probably be a good idea to get some troops. The governor has mobilized the National Guard. The governor of Virginia has announced that he's mobilized the state's National Guard of what he called an extended period of time and exercises. The War Department claims it has no knowledge of any planned maneuvers in Virginia. It also appears that National Guard units took their full allotment of supplies and live ammunition with them when they marched out, raising questions about just what they are preparing for. Oh no, shocking. Just shocking, nobody expected expected that, huh? Uh, so the research is finished for the ladder shooting uh, and yeah, we're not doing any more. Yeah, we're not doing anything else here for right now. Let's get the, nope, that's 1940, Never mind. So we're not gonna get that. Uh, we should have built some mountain troops. We need to get some special forces. We're not using any of our special forces bonuses. Uh, let's go and get the logistic companies. Sure, why not? I like logistics companies. Uh, and we have two military factories to get assigned. So let's do infantry equipment because we're lacking on that. In fact, let's just put them all into infantry equipment. 
think that would be a good idea. In fact, let's pull from support and put him into artillery. And Federal Housing Act. Excellent. So we can do the Militia Organization Act, which will allow us to train quicker. Quite useful. We can join this with the Soviet Union. I wanted to wait until I went communist before I did that, though. We do Democratic Socialism, which would officially change us to communist. Um, so yeah, it might be a good idea to, to get that. Do full segregation for more manpower. See what else we have available here. Manhattan Project. Um, Selective Training Act. Let's change, that would change our mobilization law up for us. Uh, the, the Pentagon gives you planning speed. This will allow us to produce fighters much quicker. All right, well, that's good. And the Two, eight, two Ocean Navy Act, which is a ton of dockyards. All right, well, let's... Let's do the Selective Training Act, man. Just so we have... I mean, well, fuck, we're already stacked on manpower. Never mind. Yeah, we're stacked on manpower. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, I guess we'll do one of these ones that helps us out. Uh, let's do the division training time. Yeah. yeah that'd be a really good one to do. Since we're training divisions. Or we were training divisions. I suppose we're done doing that. But don't think too hard about it, guys. Uh, so we've got another factory done. Let's put that in this, into, into the uh, infantry equipment. And we need more more military factories let's do continue doing them in the north we also have that nice 100 percent bonus there in utah so we'll do that let's hit nevada up too uh, i don't want to do new mexico because i don't know i'm pretty sure new mexico is not going to go uh with the csa but i don't really know how it works this is you know not the this is the second civil war we have we can't base our knowledge off of previous civil wars all right let's just go in these areas and just take these to the bottom Military factories, that's what I need, guys. So we're currently at 25 military factories. I want to get some more dockyards, too. But once again, that's not the priority. Priority, of course, is military factories. And Mexican Soviet Republic joins the Comintern. All right, so they did join the Comintern. Not surprising, I suppose. And Governor of South Carolina has now mobilized the National Guard. All right. Do, I'm just looking here at what all the the states have. You wonder why I keep clicking on the states, and I'm not even clicking on the state. You know, you know. I, I don't want you to think I don't know where South Carolina is. Uh, I'm, I'm clicking on the states just to see what we're losing uh, when they leave. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna lose a lot of civilian factories, uh, and we're losing them anyway because they're moving south. They're all picking up and leaving us. Yes, Damn them. Uh, so modify our government. Let's get once again. Let's just continue going with things that are going to help us out militarily. Uh, probably not even too much for the Air Force because, frankly, we don't have that large of an Air Force right now. Uh, let's do... Just take a look here. Um, I love division recovery rate. I think we're going to do that because we already have uh, Clark giving us a division attack bonus. And, yeah, recovery rate is excellent. Uh, so let's get that. And why would you not want MacArthur in your, chief, as your, in your staff? Uh, so the military factory... Let's assign to artillery, since that's what we're lacking. Uh, we should probably take a look at ships and the planes, because I haven't looked at those in a while. And yeah, we do have ships that are currently done here, so it's going to pull all of them out. Okay, new fleet. And what are they? Uh, we have two submarines. Let's pull these out, put them into that submarine fleet. Oops, well, I guess it doesn't matter. And merge. And then with these four, destroyers and light cruisers, um, let's go ahead and put them in this this fleet here on the west coast. That one should be safe, you'd assume. Although we should probably take a few. We really do need to create a little bit of a fleet down over here on the on the east coast, guys. Because yeah, we might. That that is actually where the fight's going to be uh, against the the CSA's navy. I don't know how much ships they're going to take from us, but I know they're they're going to take some. Hopefully not half. Uh, that wouldn't be very realistic. Um, but yeah, because you know, obviously the uh, naval production is on the west coast and you know, in the Northeast here in America. So wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for, for the South to get half of our Navy, but I don't know how many they will take, but they'll definitely take some, I'm sure. All the Civil Wars ends up you losing some ships. So let's create a little bit of a fleet to send over to them with some capital ships and stuff. Let me just see what we currently have over here. We have 35 destroyers and a heavy cruiser. All right, so we're going to send a large fleet of uh, 22 ships over to these coast guys. Uh, so let's just send um, it's a large base one up there but I don't really like that one and that one's a little bit too south for us you know what? let's just send them here that's fine all right so we're gonna send them a large fleet and it should be enough I think I don't know I don't really know hopefully uh, but I sent them one of the larger if you guys want to see what I sent uh, we sent 
One of the new carriers, uh, the Ranger, not so not the newest one, uh, soldiers deserting, no, no, as well as one of the converted battleship hulls, the Lexington, uh, pretty famous battleship, or excuse me, pretty famous uh, carrier from World War II. Uh, also, I sent several battleships too. We didn't have any new battleships though. But yeah, I sent uh, a few battleships to him as well with a few heavy cruisers, a bunch of light cruisers, uh, and there we go. Looks like it's happening, guys. So we finished up the research, um, and I think we're done over here. Yeah, we're done for right now. So let's go ahead and continue getting stuff. And remember, uh, well, I don't know if that happens now, if they take our tech now. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, we do need to get a tech first, though. Uh, so let's figure out what the hell we want. Uh, we haven't done air doctrines yet. Um, you know what? Let's continue doing 1939 stuff. Uh, let's do the advanced machine tools. All right, secession at 0800 hours today. A special envoy from South Carolina arrived at the White House to deliver to President FDR a note from the state legislation announcing that South Carolina will no longer consider itself part of the republic, claiming that this is a fundamental right of any civilized people. And quoting ex extensively from the Declaration of Independence, the note also stated emphatically that or emphatically, <laughs> that a peaceful secession is in everyone's interest and that the new state wishes nothing more than to conduct its own affairs as a good neighbor of the United States. Call it what it is, it's treason, goddammit. Uh, so they have uh, rebelled. Uh, why? Oh, I'm going to sell naval view. Uh, so they have rebelled in South Carolina. Somebody was saying they rebelled in Georgia. I'm pretty sure it's random. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's random. I think it can spawn like any of the... I think it has to be like one of these states, I'd guess. I don't really know. I guess Texas could be the leader too, I suppose. Uh, but, I mean, they've talked about secession here in the 21st century. So, uh, so yeah, we do have the Confederacy that has rebelled. And the Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. I fucking hate when they do that. I, I do not like that that focus branch. Uh, it just ruins things. A house divided. Here we go. Oh, the war started. Okay. Uh, so we probably slow it down. Transmission from the Confederacy. A house divided. Mere hours after the first state severed its ties with the United States, others followed suit with almost identically sounding declarations. Hopes of a people's peaceful separation were quickly dashed when several demonstrations in the affected states in favor and continued membership in the United States turned bloody and a number of federal officials were assaulted. In a few cases, supporters of President FDR or just people accused of insufficient zeal for independence were lynched by the crowd. Interim President Wade uh, Doubleday? Uh, has called these events regrettable but understandable acts of civic retaliation against governmental overreach and promised the perpetrators presidential pardons if they came forward. He further demanded a complete withdrawal of all federal troops from the territory of the new state as well as a demilitarized zone at the border to avoid further misunderstandings. Franklin, uh, President FDR has refused to even entertain the notion and ordered the military to restore order in the states of in rebellion. We haven't heard this before, have we? Sounds pretty familiar. Uh, so... Oh, Virginia did rebel. Yeah, that's right. We got that event about Virginia rebelling. That's right. And I was like, oh, that's not surprising. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't put stuff there. So that means we need to get our troops deployed. Um, I don't know how many troops they have. Let's take a look. Between 29 and 57, we currently have 66. Okay, so we have a little bit more than them now because we built those those divisions. Uh, they have nine military factories. We have 22. They have seven dockyards while we have 29. They have uh, zero planes. Uh, we got all the planes. Uh, they have 38 to 45 ships. So did they take any ships from us? I imagine we have smaller numbers here. Yeah, it looks like we lost a couple of battleships here, I think. Maybe. You know what? We might have only had four there. Not entirely sure. We might have lost some sh some some ships. I wish I knew exactly how many we had. Uh, but that is the Civil War, guys. So uh, I, I kind of wish I'd saved the, the military power so that we could... Or excuse me, the political power so we could go straight from undisturbed isolation to, to a better one. Uh, but we'll just have to wait now until uh, we get a little bit more middle, military power or political power, excuse me. In fact, I think what we do, what we're going to do when we finish up the Militia Organization Act is not get a national focus so that we can get rid of this uh, as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do that, uh, especially with us at war. That means we'll be able to get a better one uh, than we normally would have. Because once we defeat them, we'll be back at peace, which means we can't get out of undisturbed isolation unless our war support stays high. There might be an event or something that removes that, though. Uh, so, yeah, we are now at war with the Confederacy of American States, the CAS. Um, I thought it was CSA, uh, but it's the Confederacy of American States. Okay, so that means um, we also have to end the episode, guys. I apologize. I, I told you it was going to end up being this way, um, that we we're going to end up having... <laughs> I knew it. We we're going to have a big old cliffhanger. 
we've got the Civil War, and now I have to end the episode. Uh, some people are going to be all pissed, thinking, well, if you wouldn't have talked so damn much, we would have got to watch it in this one. Sorry, guys. I apologize. But the uh, second episode to the Japan series is up. Go check that out. A lot of fun with that so far. Although it's been kind of odd, because we haven't been able to find the capital ships uh, for the Allies. Uh, so, you know, we've been fighting, doing naval battles and stuff, but I uh, haven't had any luck finding capital ships uh, for the most part. It's been kind of difficult uh, finding them. So, uh, really interesting series. Go check that out, guys, if you want some warfare. Uh, also, there's land battles in that one, too. It's not just focused on the navies. Uh, so, so, yeah, we got our troops. Uh, we're going to be putting them into two separate armies. Might actually need to do three, actually. Uh, and then we're going to give them generals, which will make sure we use our command power to kind of promote them. And we're going to invade into the south, subjugate them, make sure they know that they have to remain part of the Union. And finally, uh, you notice that we did not get the neutral block here uh, that is talked about in the developer diary. Uh, I think that's because, once again, uh, because we had gotten that national focus. So if you're doing this as the communists, because you can't get them as the fascists, I believe. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to get that, that national focus. Uh, so if you are going the communist route, make sure you get that nat national focus before the Civil War breaks out. Make sure you kind of beeline to it. That would be wise. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put our fleet out as well. It, sh it should be pretty fun, guys, uh, doing this this civil war. We got some we got some war finally, fucking four episodes of nothing, and we got some battle. Uh, so I hope to see you on the next episode uh, so that you get to see this conflict. I know that all of you guys are gonna have the game in your hands now because uh, it is out uh, or have the expansion, excuse me, in your hands. Man, the guns did officially release today. So I, I know many of you guys are gonna be playing that instead of uh, instead of watching uh, videos, and I don't blame you. And it's a fantastic uh, expansion, but. If you are still watching the video, still watching the series, uh, let me know down in the comments how you're feeling so far. I know you haven't had a lot of time with it, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion of uh, the expansion and its features. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. As I said, go check out that Jap uh, the Japanese uh, Pacific War series. Uh, pretty fun overall. Uh, and I do hope to see you on the next episode if you ain't too busy playing the game yourself. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.